Uh, I'm Mark Anderson, and uh, we are at the Halo Room in uh, Sun and Rancho Bernardo um, near San Diego. We are coming from the Future in Review Conference 2007, Fire 5, which we've just concluded. It's a Friday afternoon, and we are talking to our various friends in Singapore and Corvallis. And uh, we've got some fire people here with us, and uh, to show how this works, we'll go back and forth uh, to another room here uh, uh, at this facility. And I see Jeb Terry over there. Jeb, how did you enjoy fire? Uh, it was a uh, it was a mind-boggling affair. <laughs> Days and confused. There's a uh, fire hose of, of uh, challenging information and uh, uh, lots of stimuli. So we'll probably take uh, a few days to try to assimilate it all. But uh, it's been uh, all that it was billed to be. So congratulations, by the way, on, on a very successful conference. Well, for those uh, HP folks who were with us this week, um, they all understand this already. But I, we're very proud to have HP as a sponsor of Fire. Uh, which uh, just happened this year. HP also helped us with our first Silicon Valley dinner. And uh, we've always had high regard for this company. We consider it to be not only the original leader in Silicon Valley, but a continuing leader in, uh, in, in the way that it operates. And we're very, very pleased with uh, the relationship. We, we are proud to be partners with someone uh, who we consider to be an ethical corporate partner. And uh, we, we like you a lot. We, we really respect your engineering abilities and your, your dedication to product quality. So uh, we're, we're very pleased and proud to be working with you on anything you want to work with. We're, we're right there with you. Well, thank you, Mark. We're glad you uh, invited all the folks in to see our HP Halo product. Uh, hope this uh, demonstration is kind of showing you how we see the future and some of the products we're shipping today. And uh, what we see is going to be a way people are going to communicate naturally um, going forward. Just knock the price down to ten ninety five, and I'll take thirty of them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been, been great. Ray, can you answer wow. a question for us? Ooh, cool. Sure. Oh, What's the resolution on the high definition yes. collaboration yeah. screen? Yeah, yeah right. The, the high showing the the screen yes. above is ten eighty. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. are seven twenty. Seven twenty. Seven twenty on the, the people screens, as we call them, the collaboration. Ten eighty on the collaboration screen, which is why you get such a great detail. Yeah, it's just it's like you're there. I think they very intense. And what? Can you share it one more time? What other features are in the? The tool set that we see up here, you have a phone, you have a digital representation of the desk. What are, what are, what are all the features? Right. So you can share both laptops uh, as well as the whiteboarding um, objects, mm -hmm. pictures. You can um, share uh, other rooms, other information. So with a lot of collaboration, you can bring in other features. So you can use your laptop for to, you know, net meeting. Mm -hmm. Other, other capabilities, anything that you can imagine that's on your desktop is available oh. if you bring in your laptop and mm -hmm. are sharing it and collaborating real time. So you can go very high tech or you mm -hmm. can go very low tech and just yeah. dialogue yeah. eye to eye, face to face. And Teresa, what's the model? Uh, how do people act? You have you know, different like, locations, you buy service, how do you? The best way is to check us out on um, www.hp.com slash halo. Um, we've got uh, currently, HP's got uh, 30 more or more rooms globally, which are highlighted on our website, as well as our customers. Um, we mm -hmm. don't, some customers are comfortable with post Mm -hmm. that but some of it they've asked us to not post that so and how old is this system actually halo launched in December of 05 uh -huh. so pretty new and led the pack and was the first kind of high fully immersive um, telepresence offering on the market cool well, it's awesome thank you and it's a fully managed service on top of that so mm -hmm. I think that's a, that in addition to the private network that we talked about as being the backbone yeah. is a fundamental yeah. distinguished yeah. differentiator so it's a fully managed service instead of some other models have a bunch of service providers that you got that they pull together so, right. so the so consistency is what you're selling consistency right. and the h which is the Halo Video Exchange Network is a private fiber optic network across the globe so it's not running on a customer's enterprise network you don't have to manage it you don't have to provide IT, you don't have to provide resources. Uh -huh. So not only is it capable of handling large bandwidth, no jitter, no delay, um, we all know that video is getting larger and larger part of the game. <laughs> it seems like you save, uh, I mean, this is a you save time, money, it's time to business effectiveness. So today this is positioned in the enterprise business space, but as the market is maturing, um, you know, you can envision this in fiber to the home, which is happening now in high-end housing. 
Although, yeah. I talked with Scott, the architect, you know, I said, how could you use this? And we talked about conceptually using scale up to do mock ups with clients, oh, yeah. partners, and customers. Oh, yeah. Especially overseas and you know, we're right now. We can do a lot of this in China. And streaming real time video of a of a, yeah. a site prior yeah. to building out to get your you know your team your project team aligned mm -hmm. so that their conceptual drawings can be framed the same way and having that dialogue up front and then actually with prototypes you can show the 3D prototype on the table uh -huh. you can throw the scale up with the dynamic computer um, tool that they use a lot to scale up a design and you can just kind of get squared up especially when you're working with clients across the globe as they are across all industries which I we, was a really I think he was really surprised as we talked more. So we already uh, yeah. decided we'd pick a piece of software application and test it out uh -huh. and uh, try it real time. So we offer, have a, de have a Halo demo on HP, uh -huh. um, have a meeting on us. So if there are folks that would like to actually try this in a real meeting situation, they can do, they can do that. Hit www.hp.com slash Halo oh, cool. and send in your information or they can call me directly. There's absolutely no comparison with, with other video conferencing systems. Not even the one would-be competitor that I've seen. What do you guys have at HSBC? Yeah. Oh, we just have standard video conferencing, and it's, it's a pain in the neck. Who here would use this in their business, and how do you see it? What's your name? What's your name? Jay. Jay Falker, NASA. NASA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have this in NASA yet. We have video conference facilities. They're very uh -huh. formal and standoffish. You get nothing like eye contact uh -huh. uh, or virtual presence. And we, we routinely, you don't always need all 10 field centers and headquarters and the testing facilities. Uh -huh. We routinely need four to six. Uh -huh. uh, and you want this kind of interaction. I, I can see how the moment we had one of these, we'd fight over the room. No question we'd fight over the room. <laughs> it would be a because place. anytime we, we have telecons, you know, 24 hours a day, and you're sitting there glued to a phone, or you're in a conference room not seeing the people, do this is email. much better. Yeah. 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 Do, do your email. email. In this time. room, you can't do your email. That's um, a huge rude. difference. You, <laughs> actually, you yeah. can't yeah. fight unless you, can. you, you can narrow the hook up. Right. Everyone knows that you can't do How about you, John? I'm an architect with Zimmer Guns of Frasca, and we would use this all the time. We have something, some what, what would be considered pretty. typical video teleconferencing, state of the art today, or state of the art five years ago, which is ancient history. And we sure. use it, but it's not nearly as satisfying or effective as this. And uh, you do international business. You guys are doing things in China right now. And yes, and, and, and India and other countries. And it would be extremely helpful. And where do you all see this going in the future? Is uh, pretty much a standard option in business, or? I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. This, the telepresence, and then coupled with the web collaboration, is going to replace basic phone yeah, calls I, and I, a I lot think, of travel. I think we're all innately gregarious, and mm -hmm. in, and in business, it's even more so, right. um, because there's 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 a genuine business purpose, and it's also satisfying some some basic human That's desire. Right. Mm -hmm. So, to the extent the cost collapses, you'll wear it out. You'll just continue as we do our cell phones and emails and things like that. Right. Because they're not necessarily, you know, how many unnecessary emails do you get? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, uh, well, and if, as this comes down, I think not only will it cut off the, the more expensive kind of communication like travel and in right. person, but I, th I see it replacing some of the inexpensive, less satisfying communication sure. like a basic phone call. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah.